everyone, welcome. My name is Adam. Now, I've got to do this video really quickly. This video is going to be completely void and worthless within six months. Orbex are working on their latest version of their app. It's going to launch very soon, version 4. We're all on version 3 at the moment, as you can see here. Um, and there's things that you just can't do with version 3 that you're going to be able to do with version 4. And that's what this video is all about. This video was a request from well, one of my viewers. So this video will basically help you increase your performance within your sim and your loading times, okay? And it's very, very simple. It's basically Basically, all about where you put your Orbex folder. So, whenever you install Orbex, the the app, and then you start installing sceneries, it installs it into your uh, prepared version four simulator folder, and it, that's located on the C drive in Program Files, Lockheed Martin, and prepared version four. And as you can see, Orbex install all their stuff. Oh, hello, what's this? It's empty. Why is mine empty? Well, I don't actually keep anything from Orbex contained in that folder in on my C drive in my simulator, okay? Now, don't get me wrong, I have quite a lot of Orbex products. I've got loads of products, over 300 gigs worth. And um, my computer, my simulator, and Orbex both think they are in there, but they are not. And I'll explain. I have mine sitting here on my D drive, right here, um, it's all there, and um, yeah, that's where, it, that's where it sits. Now Orbex believe it's actually here, and my simulator believe it's actually here, and I get really good performance by doing what I'm about to show you. I'm going to put a link to this little uh, app in the uh, description below and it's called Junction Link Magic. And it's very simple to use if you know how to use it correctly. If you use it incorrectly, you can really hurt your sim and computer, but it's very simple to use if you just literally watch this, okay? When you first install this and load it up, it's gonna actually try and scan your system, right? For symbolic links, and you wanna cancel that and stop it and remove any that are sat here. You don't want any links. Um, you want to do them yourself and it's very simple to do you literally do this right so at the moment in my simulator this folder is absolutely blank there's nothing in here it's gone okay orbex is there but it's not there okay we got to create very simple right and basically what it's going to do is ask you for a destination uh file and a, a host folder the destination file or folder in this case is where all your stuff is currently sat at which at the moment it's on my um, my D drive right there okay then the host folder is where who's gonna be hosting this stuff where is it going well it's going into our simulator right and what you need to do if you've already got your stuff on your uh, computer on your C drive just cut and paste it to a different location if it's already in a location, then what you need to do is have your folder all ready to go. And it's got to look exactly the same as it reads on wherever you're reading it from. So here on my D drive, it says Orbex, all in capitals. And then on my C drive, it's Orbex, all in capitals. Because when you go to look for your program, it has to have the same entries. So we go scroll down to, where are we looking for here? Uh, Lockheed Martin, there we go. Lockheed Martin prepared, and then we're looking for the Orbex folder. There it is. Click on that. All good to go. Create. Okay. Now, this is going to pop up. May have advertent effects. Are you sure? You click yes, you're sure. And you should get this entry come up. It should look exactly like that on your computer, except for the D might be like an E or an F or any other letter. It could even be just a D. Okay. But it's whatever, you know hard drive you've got your Orbex products on. Now we can close this down, we don't need that anymore and look here there's a little tick here that's appeared on this folder and there's all my Orbex products now. The simulator believes it's all in there okay and uh, it's not, it's on the D drive and if I was to load up my Orbex right now um, you would see that it's all installed okay um, as you can see to be honest. Um, Orbex knows that it's there and that's how you do that now again like I just said in about two to six months this is going to be 
void. You don't need to do this anymore because they have built this in into their next version of their app. So you'll be able to do this junction link magic or you'll be able to basically say, I'd like to have all my Orbex stuff here and it will put it in the simulator for you. How that's going to work, we just have to wait and see, but that's basically it. Use this while you can. It will really increase your performance. You'll get better frames and quicker loading times. Till next time, guys. Thank you for watching. Hit the bell to make it ring. You'll get all my videos. I do loads of helpful ones about flight simulation. Go check out my guide to flight simulation and how Orbex can be used with mega scenery to have an awesome experience. And I'll see you later next time, guys. Bye.